This is page 105 in your math journal. We're going to call this one statistics. Okay, statistics is a branch of math that uses math to make um, predictions about a population. So statistics, okay, uses data and math to make predictions about an overall group. Okay, so first we need to know what data is. Okay, data is information from many sources. So information from many sources or measurements. Maybe what I should put here is there are multiple examples. or samples. Okay, examples. There are two kinds of data. We have quantitative data. Quantitative means information that can be measured. Examples could be like height, weight, age. Okay, they're all numbers. Okay, another one is qualitative data. Information that can be put in a category. So examples of that would be stuff like color. You can't measure that with a number. Um, let's see, color, favorite, shape, stuff like that. So when you're gathering data, Quantitative is going to be numbers, and that's mostly what we're going to do with math. Okay, qualitative data is just information about something. Like, remember back in kindergarten when you would pick your favorite um, color, 
or the color of your eyes or does that make sense so quantitative can be measured in numbers now with that I want you to write this down when trying to make predictions and the more data you gather the more accurate you will be Okay, another definition is sample size. And that's how many pieces of data you have. Okay, now we're going to talk about an example. Oh, one other one is a statistical question. A statistical question is a question that can have many answers and gets many responses. All right, let's just say and can collect data. So let's do an example. What? So this is an example of a statistical question. What is your shoe size? Okay, this will get a quantitative answer. Quantitative because I can get numbers from this and it is statistical because I can get many different responses. Um, how many animals do you have? That would be quantitative. Because I can get a number of answers. Um, what color is your hair? That would be qualitative because I'm asking for something that you can't measure in numbers. So when you are doing um, something that you're trying to find something out about for statistics, you want to make sure you can ask something that you can get many answers from. You also want to ask many people. So. Um, When we are, and then 
usually you like to interpret it. So um, I just want to show a couple of different graphs that you can have. So these are different graphs that you might use. Okay, we could use a uh, stem and leaf. If I have the numbers 14, 15, 15, 17, 20, 21, 30, 55. So this is my sample size. Our sample data here. Okay, a stem and leaf plot. Because you're going to see this, I just want you to be familiar with it. Stem and leaf plot takes the trunk of the numbers, meaning not the ones. So the trunk here would be tens. So I'm going to put tens here. So I start at 14 and I have to go all the way up to 55. So I'm going to write 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. And here I have 14. So I'm going to write a 4 there. 15. I have another 15. And 17. Okay, 20. Put a 0 here. 21. 30. And 55. Here is just a way to organize my data. Okay, a stem and leaf plot. I just want to show you that one because it's kind of a funky one. And then they'll write something like this key. And they'll write one line four equals 14, just so we know. So that's the stem and leaf plot if you come across those.